Hi everyone, thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed that beginning intro. Um, one second here. I've got to mute myself on my camera. Okay, perfect. I hope you enjoyed that little intro. Um, I'm doing that now to give myself a little bit of leeway because there's always something I forget to grab before <laughs> the live. So without further ado, I'm gonna start prepping some things for tonight. Tonight I'm going to do a set of three canvases. So we're gonna do a set of these three here. And that's what I'm doing up here so I can make sure I'm looking the right way. So we're gonna do work on three of these today and we're gonna do these. We have a moon with stars, a hearts. It says, you are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. And then I have the sun. So then we're going to do some quick, fun little things as well. I'm going to paint these. You'll see what I'm doing with those in a minute. And then I got some stars today that we're going to glue down. So let's get to it. Um, let me actually show you where this came from. Um, I have the cart link. And let me find my cart link here. Because I want to show you what the transfer was that I'm using. It actually comes as a big transfer. Um, let me just see if I can share my screen really quickly here. Where is my screen share? So let's share my screen real quick. I just want to show a window. So this is what the entire transfer looks like. Um, you can do lots of different things, but today we're just going to do a few of these to make a set of three. Um, and I do have this one. I haven't figured out what kind of project I want to do with it, but that one's pretty big too. Um, just to put that in reference, I'll show you that too. Because that'll be my project hopefully next week. Okay, where is, so yeah, that is the size transfer. It originally came on and I trimmed it down so that we could use it today. Um, all right here. So let's make sure I'm back to my regular screen. So what is everyone up to today? I know this weather has been really crazy. Um, it was like 90 to almost 100 here the last couple weeks. And all of a sudden today it's like super windy and only 75. Um, but the kids really enjoyed that because then they got to go outside for a little bit. Um, we haven't been going outside recently because it's just been too hot on our concrete patio. So for tonight's piece, I am using our bumblebee again. I have some old colonial blue, which I'm going to turn this into a paint because I really don't like wasting things. Um, I'm a saver. I save tissue paper, gift wrap. I'll open it very carefully just so I can save the gift wrap. Um, and I try making that open gifts that way. I've given up with kids. They're too young but we'll get there. I've got bright white and then my golden, my gold shimmer again. Um, so let me get my paint ready because I want to get some of my board ready first. So I'm gonna do a mixture here. Actually, I want my black too. Um, I tried this out. And I did a black with the blue over it. So what I want to do is kind of make the black a light paste, a light color, lighter black. Um, and to turn the paste 
into a paint, what we're going to do is, oh, let me get back in my screen here. <laughs> I forget I have this now. We're just gonna wet this down and then you just wanna stir it, to turn it into a paint. So I'm just gonna keep stirring until it's all smushed in. Ugh. And I splashed myself. Lovely. Okay, so I think I need just a little bit more water. And when you wet the chalk, you want to use filtered distil or distilled type water just because all the stuff in our water can kind of mess up the paste and make it dry weird, make it look weird. Um, so you just want it clean. We don't want dirt. We don't want germs on our canvas. We want our canvas to stay nice. This is actually a wood, but anything you paint on or do is canvas. I just call it a canvas because everything is blank. I always have a bit blank canvas. All right, so now I'm going to kind of just wet my brush a little here, my paintbrush. And what I'm going to do is, where's my tape? I don't want to get the edges. I thought I had everything right this time. Oh dear. The joys of having children get to your stuff. What? Which video are you sharing? Um, no, it's on my business page. One moment, please. Why is that not in that the business page? Do you not like my business page? Mm. Uh, there we go. No, that's the group. Group. That one. There you go. Trying to show Matt where I was streaming from. If you guys aren't aware, Matt is my husband. But what was I doing? I was looking for my washi tape. That's well, placement tape, washi tape. I usually have tape up here. All right, so I'm just gonna probably go run back into our, my bedroom and grab my tape of small water because my children have taken off the placement tape. Oh, Mister. some washi tape. So I have my cart here in um, my kitchen and my children like to get to it, especially Tuck. So I don't know what he did with my tape here. But what I'm going to do is just tape off my edges so that I don't paint my actual wood. I just want to paint the white. I'm doing this so I can have a background color um, for the moon. So then we gonna just do this. This way I have a clear, and I don't have painter's tape, but washi tape tape works really well for this kind of stuff as well. It doesn't rip or tear things. Um, it's meant to go on paper to be able to be removable um, and decorative if you're not a crafter. So let me, what do I keep seeing half my face? There we go. All right. What's everyone up to tonight? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Where is everyone today? What are we up to everyone? And I'm just going to finish this. Do-da. Do-da. 
Shared, shared, shared away. Okay. There it goes. It's that shared. All right. And I should have just eyeballing this. Okay. So this will be the first canvas. And then I'm going to do the blue. So this one I'm going to do for my moon. I'm going to do the black. So it's kind of like a night sky. As you can see, I have my chalk paint, which is my watered down paste. I'm just going to push this up a little. Okay, now I'm just going to lightly dry brush the black. I don't really want it that thick and dark. I want it to dry tonight before the live is over. Um, which I don't actually have my ceiling fan on. Alright. I kind of want that white to show through so it's not a black sky completely. Um, it'll give it some character as well. Just need to get these edges. Ooh. Edges, edges, edges. Okay. So now we're just going to let that dry. And let me go rinse this paintbrush off. Why can't I see those? Where are my comments going? Oh, I'm glad you didn't miss anything yet, Casey. All right, I'm just rinsing off my black so I can do my blue on the next one. All right, I don't know. Okay, now I got that rinsed off. I'm going to let this dry a little. And then I'm going to do my blue. So once again, I'm going to take my blue paint, my blue chalk. And just so you know, this is a really old... Um, chalk here <laughs> so it, it looks funky and this is the old formula so our new formula is super nice and smooth um but this is what it kind of looks like after it's dried out for a few months and then i'm just gonna wet it down again and stir oops we're missing some chunks I'm impressed the kids are so quiet. Okay, so my paste is almost here. And I want to add some white paste. What did I do with my bright white? So I can make it such a light blue. Okay, here we go again. What are you yeah. eating for dinner today, Casey? Okay. Just so you know, this is so I can make it. We um, bought one of those kits from Target here, and that was yummy. It was a little spicy. Um, we noticed it before. It's like $15, but it comes with everything you need for dinner that night. So it came with some chicken. It was supposed to be a chicken taco rice bowl, um, but... It came with chicken and some rice and all of it's microwavable guacamole and there's one other thing in there cheese it came with cheese too um cheese it came with cheese so that was kind of yummy then i added some salad we bought some chopped caesar salad because the kids and matt really like the fact that it's chopped 
And to be honest, I'm a little lazy to chop it all. So as fine as those ones are. Okay, so now I have that paste all chill. Well, all prepped and ready. We are going to, um, oh, here's my chat. <laughs> Living room, are you with Megan, mom? Megan and Emily? Um, eating jacks because we're too lazy. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. My cooking, like I said, was on microwave cooking today. <laughs> and tossing things together. Normally, I like to cook the chicken instead of microwave it, even though it's already pre-cooked. But I was just trying to get it all done. The kids were super crazy at the store. Okay, what did I just do with my washi tape? Oh, there it goes. It's in front of my face. Okay. Lily's in a mood. Lily's been in a mood all day. Um, for those of you who don't know, Lily is our four-year-old daughter. And Matt is my husband. And we also have a two and a half year old son named Tuck. Well, you said you're in the living room. Isn't it Wednesday? You're seeing Emily today. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing here, except that's not fully on my wood. Okay. Oh, that's in my paste. Ugh. Paste everywhere. Paste, paste, paste. Okay, let's line this back up here. Luckily, this is just the white. There we go. So, I'm just gonna stick that there. I'm gonna wipe my hand off. Not paste is stuck in my hand. All right. Oh, okay. Do you have it up on the TV? Are you were streaming it to the TV. Does it does it work to the TV? I don't know if it worked to the TV. Okay, just didn't want my paste all over, even though it's white. Last two pieces. Now this one is going to be my background for the sun. All right. So we're just going to take this paste again and brush it on. I think I might need to stir it up a bit some more because I don't like the chunkiness there. Okay, let's get these edges in. All right. All right. All right. All right. Just a couple more coats and areas to get into. And voila. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna let that dry, rinse this off super fast, and then I'll be back. I also realized I need to dip into the kids' crafts and find a paintbrush because I forgot a little paintbrush for myself. Um, I don't know what I did with my little paintbrush I had here. Maybe I could have one in here. Nope. Nope. Okay, we're doing a big sash. Okay, so next I'm going to make my little sun spikes here. Let's clean off one of these so I don't waste any more. Since it is chalk and we can wipe it away. All right. So we have, oh, I'll just take from the top here. I'm just going to wet this one on just a little bit so that it can 
melt just a little to be a little bit more paint wise and i'm just going to paint a few of these sticks i just want it to spread i don't want it to um chunk up here well, i don't want it too thick so we can have it dry really fast um, I'm just going to lightly dab this on so we can have the sparkle for the sun. And I only have to do one side. Um, I'm going to cut a couple of these up to be smaller. So we're going to put that off to one side to dry. Now we're going to do the next one. I think I'll do three. I probably only need two. Um, so we'll do the three just in case and let it dry. That's one, two, and one more. One more. One more, one more. Wow, it's already 20. Wow. Where is my day gone today? It feels like it's gone by super fast. Okay. Just a few more strokes. There we go. And the third stick is down. Now I'm going to do the stars. But I want to put a white paste, I mean a background paste, um, here. So you can see what I'm doing. Let's move these out of the way. Let's cover this back up. It doesn't dry out. That's my lid. There we go. I don't know what I did with the white paste. It should all be in front of my face. Um, okay. Let's rest this off. Oh no. No, no, baby. That is not good. Okay, so I spilled some water on this. Yeah. Luckily, it's not too bad. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to take this brush, and because this is bigger space, I'm going to just paint right on with the chalk. I just want a background so that I don't have to put so much of the gold glitter on, but I really want these to pop against the night sky here. So. Just gonna dip it in a little. Quickly paint the star. Okay, and then we're gonna do the third and final star here. There we go. Now we're going to let those dry. And I'm going to make sure to clean this up and make sure my two backgrounds are dry. Well, we'll do the middle ones first. Oh my gosh. I really do need to stand up and do this. Okay. Just passing off my paintbrush and my water here. I need to dry that off again because I splattered it. Oh man. Um, all right, so next is going to be this cleanup because I don't want anything to get on the back of my box here. All right, so oh, I have some new chats. Hi, Emily, what's up? What you doing? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is clean my space up a little so I can find what I'm looking for. I'm going to do my wording in black here. So I'm going to move that out of my way. And I can't keep debating. I'm really debating if I want to put that around. I think I'm just going to leave it simple. I thought about doing that as the background and leaving a space. But I think I'm going to just leave it plain because I got a lot of other stuff going on. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. We'll peel the backing off. We're gonna peel 
and I haven't used this transfer yet, so I'm going to need to go off in my really fast and fuzz because my table space is really not that big. Um, so I have a TV tray here so I can fuzz it with my stash of stuff supplies for the evening so I'm not looking around too much for all my things because got mom brain with two young kids as well mom brain so okay and then a couple more I'm gonna really make sure to do the fuzzing on the other transfer the other two transfers because I don't want them to rip the piece that's underneath. I'm awaiting some wax so I don't have to rip it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna line this up in the middle as best as I can. I don't want any bubbles here. Okay. And it looks like this piece of hair on my transfer or a piece of the wood shaving here. Let me get this off with baby wipe. If I can, because I don't want that to peel up. I ruin that paste job here. Okay. So I'm just gonna lay this and center it as much as I can. I'm gonna take my black and we are gonna just squeegee it like normal. I just want to make sure I have some on here. All right, now I'm just going to squeaky. Make sure to get all of my screen. All right, I'm just sweep off the excess. Careful not to get it off the transfer and onto my board. Okay, cover that back up for just a minute. And then we're going to peel from my eyes. Come and kind of peel up very, very careful and slow so I don't pull my transfer and stretch it. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to give this a quick rinse so that it doesn't stick. The black's a little dark, so I just don't want it to really fully stick too much on my transfer. It's going to stain just a little. It's not going to stain the silk screen. It's going to stain the blue part, that teal color, a little, but it's fine. It's reusable. Regardless, as long as you clean out the silk screen part, you're good. Okay. Actually, we get a couple more swipes in there. And our board erasers are great at um, getting it all off here. It really works well if you just stick it in the water with a board eraser and then just scrub really hard. Well, you don't scrub too hard. Okay, so we're going to let that dry and put that behind me. I'm going to do this one to make sure it's fully dry. So I'm going to run the dryer here in a second. Okay. Do, 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 do. I am out of paper towels. I need to do grocery shopping. <laughs> I have a rag next to me that I'm using, a hand towel, um, to dry it up real quick. Okay. So I'm just going to put all these little wet parts around it to the tape. these corners out just a little bit. It's these are a little white. I did not really line up the tape that well. I'm just gonna get all these little white corner edges pieces here. 
Then I'll go back in with my dry tool. And then next we'll do the moon. I should have used some Q-tips. That would have been great. No, I'm sorry, my board is white. I mean black. That's okay. Okay. All right. That's that. Perfect. Now we are going to let me just go that one out of the Wet still. Hold on. I'm going to make the question. Next, we are going to do my moon. So I'm going to do it this way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, I just got some more paste that's coming in the mail. So you can come by and see what paste I got, Emily. Emily, did you uh, take pictures of the one you did recently? I know you did the two you had, but I don't think I saw a picture of both of them. I think I only saw a picture of one. So Emily bought her first Try Me kit last month, and she's been having fun doing it at home. Um, it's been great for her just to sit in her room and do it really fast. It's a quick little craft. She has the 5 by 7 board and base. Okay, so this one, I want to make sure I buzz, 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 because I don't want it sticking to my uh, board here with the chalk paint. Normally, I would have, you could use some um, board wax. Uh, I have just ordered some because we were out for a while. But the board wax will help keep it from lifting when you put another transfer on top. Otherwise, it has the chance to peel and crack. So that's why I'm going to make sure this one's super buzzed so it's not flat. Okay. So my moon, I think I'm going to do in the bumblebee. Oh, that's impressive. I don't know if I like the placement there. I'm going to try to place this right in the middle. And I am purposely doing it at an angle because I kind of want to show that it's sitting in the sky rather than just chilling right there. Okay, so I think I want to do the bumblebee underneath, just a very, very light coating of the bumblebee. Um, I want to make it, I think I'm going to do this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an ombre style. So I'm going to take some of this paste. I don't want it to fully stick out that it's yellow. Um, so let me put some little white. I just saw my bright white. Okay. So now I'm going to take some white. And I'm just going to. Oh, that's way too much. Okay. I'm just going to tap it around here. Because I don't really want it 
fully bumblebee like. So I'm just gonna use my finger. This is what we call the hot mess method. You kind of just put a few colors down. Um, that got yellow in there. Oops, my bad. Okay. We're gonna just do the hot mess method. And I'm just gonna rub that in and wipe my hand off and then squeegee it clean as per our usual standard fare here. All right. Yes, and then we're gonna go back over it a little bit to mix it some more. Okay. And then wipe off the excess. Could have done that on the stars, but that's okay. Then the stars I'm gonna do in the shimmer hole. Make them stand out. Oh, and I need to redo the other stars. Okay. So we're going to take this and squeegee it on here. It uh -oh, looks like something got stuck over there. Let's see. Okay, and this one will come up just back there. Why? Because the shimmering is there. Okay, now we're just going to lift. Being careful not to stretch the transfer a little here. It's sticking a little much where I don't want it to stick. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Where's my board eraser? I've been picking up from the kids because I've been getting into it all day. I'm just going to take the board eraser here and I'm going to scrub it off the silk screen part. And voila. Clean, dry transfer. Well, not dry, but it's a clean transfer now. Okay, there's still a spot on there. There we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now we're just going to let that air dry for a little bit until I can stick it back on to the backing sheet once it's a little more dry. Back. Okay, so we're gonna let that air dry. Before I do my next step, I'm going to pick up my stars here. Yeah, I'll have to show you the uh, paste trick to get it back up to if it dried out to get it to the right consistency. You just need to use some distilled water in a spray bottle, filtered water. If you have a filtered water bottle, like, you know, that you buy from the store already pre-bought, um, I'm just going to put these with the gold. You can put that in your spray bottle you have. And it looks like a little more muted than I want. But there's one star. And then we'll do the second star. Just want to get that glittery look onto it. So it looks like the stars are shining in the sky. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna set those back off to the side to dry. If I need to, I'll pull out the dry tool again. And then clean that off in the water. All right, so next we have the sun. Then I'm going to do the sun, a mix of the yellow and the bumblebee and the shimmer gold. So this still has a little bit of wetness to it. I'm going to just pull out the dry tool one more, another time. Make sure all that stuff is good and dry. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So before I lose my backing here, let's put these on. Oh, that is the wrong backing for that one. This one should be the backing. Yep, there we go. 
like that. So let's go there. Now I want my son, and we're going to fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Okay, I'm shaking that tape. I'm going to clean up some space so I can just fuzz up here super fast. And this one, I'm not going to do the little rays, if you can see that. I'm going to do the rays as those sticks instead. So it has some dimension, and it pops. Um, but I really need to make sure it does this one, especially in the sun part. Because I don't want to have to try to pull it so hard like I did with the moon. Totally forgot to get that middle part really, really fast. Okay. Just a few more times here. Okay, one more time. Here we go. And now I'm going to do the same here. And I want it to also be semi-angled. I want it to be straight on. But what I am going to do with these rays is I'm still going to do the yellow over the whole thing just to give it space so I know where to actually glue these down. <laughs> that would help me immensely. Um, uh -oh. I have a little bit of a goof up there. Okay, we can fix that. Yes, we can. Just need to take a little bit of this piece here. Okay. I'm just going to feel that cracking. Okay. Now I need my gold, which I just wrongly put away, I thought. Where did I put you? Oh, Mr. Gold. Mr. Gold, Mr. Gold. What did I do with you? It should be right there. But you are not. All right, well, I'm just going to use the top part of this gold. And my squeegee is right here. All right, because I don't really need much. I'll find it later. <laughs> I don't know how those things are supposed to be right in front of me. And I now spy it under the backing of the transfer. <laughs> Waste not. Not. Okay. Now wipe the hand room. We're going to just pull this one off. And then rinse really fast. And then now I'm just going to use my dry tool and dry it off a bit so that I can glue it down my rays just a little bit. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. I just have my squeegee. Okay, I'm just gonna have this dry so that I can flip it to air drying it. Got that one drying, now I need my dry tool. You know that detail's a little hard to see right now. I'm going to pull up the sky, make sure those are dry. Okay, I'm going to just let me brush the strip up. So it doesn't look too bad. We're going to try to place this in the a little bit more. Okay.
Now I just want my glue, my tacky glue here. I'm going to have to put a hole. Uh, I need to put the hole through this. Yes, I do. I need another stick of hole. And scissors will work. Okay, so that should work out now. Uh, kids lost the cats. So gotta dig out my dried out glue here. Okay. What am I doing with the sun? Oh, you'll see, Emily. I'm a. It's making a three piece uh, design here. Three canvases with one transfer. So now I'm just going to glue these down really fast, but it will not bulge. Careful with this one, because it was really crap. It bulged when I tried it, so. Let's not too much for this. So I'm just going to put a good start here. Now, hot glue would have been better, but. I just decided to do the tacky glue. I'm going to have to go in and scrape it off later because I put too much on that one. Like scrape off the excess tacky. I'm going to do that one there. And then I'm going to do this one here. Oh, I should have been rolling there. Oh, well. I'm going to do that one there. Okay. Now. Yeah. Trying to figure out. There we go. So there's a close-up of the moon. My star needs to move a little. Now what I'm going to do with the sun is measure these sticks out. So roughly, yay. Okay. I have my bitters. This is Okay. We're just gonna measure this out just a little bit here. So we'll go right there. We can chop. And chop this piece down. And now I'm just gonna use that to measure all my other pieces. Well, it should be about the same. Okay. So these are just super thin pieces of sticks. <laughs> super thin sticks that I found at the craft store. Um, they're kind of in random spots at the craft store. You can find them in pre crafts, in woodworking hobby, etc. Um, but yeah, it's like comes in a huge pack. So I gotta come up with a lot of crafts that use this. Okay, and just a couple more to go. And we can start going on down. Yay! See the finished product. Woohoo! Okay. So I just need the tiniest bit of glue here. And I'm just gonna place that down right there. And once again, the easiest bit of glue on the back. These are super tiny pieces. It doesn't take much. Okay. Um, I'm going to do another itty bitty piece. Right here. And I'm going to get this. Do that. Right. And then we're going to cut them in half. 
So I'm not really in half per se, but we're going to kind of I'm going to size it here. Okay. All right. So we need one, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Okay. Three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now we're just gonna do these like so. And then this here. And then just like that. And you know, I think it's gonna go for shorter rays. I'm kind of angle it in the middle. I'm going to love to the design. I'm just going to go with the flow of my own on top of these little sun rays. Okay. So just a couple more pieces here. Just a little bit shorter. It's just a little bit. And then we'll dry these pieces really fast and then see what they look like all together. I'm going to dry my glue a little here. Okay. Okay. see so much goop. Okay. There we go. No. Slightly drying them up a little bit too much. When that's fully dry, I'll go back over with some gold paste on my paintbrush just to cover up all the white. All right. I'm going to dry off and then I can show off of them. Got my piece to fall off when I show you one. there you have it. We have our moon and our sun. And last but not least, and I know it's a little hard to see the sparkle, but up close when it catches the light, you can kind of see it. Um, it's a little hard here. There we go. You can kind of see a flash. <laughs> and then, um, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Actually, I'll just do a close-up, like, so in just a second. Let me get it all laid out and make sure I don't put it on anything wet. Okay. And now we have all three. So let's see if I can pull this off and turn my camera so you can actually read it. And there you have it. You are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. And let's stop that. Okay, cool. So thank you everyone for joining me today again on the stream. I really appreciate 
all of you interacting and watching me. I hope you really enjoyed this one. Can you make me one for my room? I can help you make one and I can make you one, Emily. It'll be a fun project. Um, but I will all see you again next Wednesday night. Have a good night. Bye.